Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix error with NVIDIA graphic card. And the error is Windows has stopped this device because it has reported problems and the code is 43. So if you're receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to install the driver and still you're facing the problem, then move on to the next step. So the first step is to update NVIDIA graphic card from device manager. So go to the start menu, then make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand the display adapter and then select your NVIDIA graphic card and then make a right click then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers and install the driver. Once this is installed restart your computer and then go ahead and check your NVIDIA graphic card you that error should go away. Now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall this lucid virtual MVP software. So open go ahead and type in appwiz.cpl so just go ahead and type in appwiz.cpl in windows search and then open appwiz.cpl or you can just uh, write this command that is appwiz.cpl in run box and then click on ok and in the list you have to go ahead and find lucid mpv software so if you find this uh, lucid mpv in the list go ahead and select it and then click on uninstall so this is just an example i'm showing you select that software and then click on uninstall so you have to go ahead and uninstall this lucid mpv software if you don't have this software in control panel then go ahead and leave it do not uninstall anything else and then the next step is to install latest windows update so to install latest windows update go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed the restart your computer and then check the error now the next step is to roll back graphics driver to roll back graphics driver open device manager once again make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager go to display adapter make a right click on nvidia uh, nvidia card and then select properties go to driver tab and then click on rollback driver so if this option is highlighted go ahead and click on rollback driver and then just follow the on screen instruction to revert to the previous version of your nvidia graphic card and that error should go away now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall and uninstall the graphic card driver and then restart your computer so open device manager once again and then this time make a right click on nvidia graphic card then click on uninstall device then put a check on option which says delete the driver software for this device click on uninstall and after that go ahead and once the uninstall is done go to the start menu click on the power icon and then click on restart and during the system restart uh, the windows should you know automatically go ahead and install the default driver for nvidia graphic card and go ahead and check if if over here if you don't see the nvidia graphic card then in that case go ahead and update the driver from nvidia website so go to the nvidia website so go ahead and type in nvidia graphics driver go ahead and type it type in nvidia drivers in google search and then go to nvidia website and download the driver from nvidia website so select your graphic card from the list so go ahead and check in your device manager make sure that you are selecting right graphic card from the list so make sure that you select the right graphic card from the list and once you select your graphic card which is installed in your computer then click on search and then click on download now once you click on download a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file Click on yes to allow. Click on OK. Now agree to the terms. Click on agree and continue. And then select the option which says custom. Put a check on custom then click on next. And over here you will see an option which says perform a clean installation. Put a check over here. 
then click on next and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete restart your computer and that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you are facing the problem then go ahead and update your system BIOS to update your BIOS if you have a Dell computer go to Dell website if you have HP computer go to HP if you have Lenovo go to Lenovo so whatever is your brand go to the um, go to their website so for example I have a Dell computer so I'll go to Dell website so just open your Dell Lenovo HP Asus whatever brand you have visit their website and then enter the service tag or serial number of your computer and then click on search and then go to drivers and download and then find your BIOS and go ahead and click on download so you have to go ahead and update your system BIOS now before you update the BIOS make sure the battery on your laptop is more than 10 percent and the charger is connected to your computer so make sure that uh, in case of laptop the charger is connected and the battery is more than 10% uh, and disconnect all the external devices from your computer so if you have any external hard drive flash drive printer cable connected go ahead and disconnect all your external devices and go ahead and update your BIOS and during the BIOS your system will restart do not turn off the power supply when it's updating the BIOS once the BIOS update is done restart your computer it will automatically restart log into your uh, computer and that error should go away now the next step is to update Windows 10 using media creation tool so if, if nothing is working then go ahead and update your Windows 10 using media creation tool so in Google search go ahead and type in media creation tool then go to Microsoft website and then click on this download tool now A exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file click on yes to allow now agree to the terms then click on upgrade this PC now by default this option will be highlighted so make sure upgrade this PC now is selected then click on next now it will start downloading the complete Windows 10 on your computer along with the latest update now do not worry about the data loss because you will not lose any data because before installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to key personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer and then click on install and after the installation go ahead and log into the computer and then check your graphic card so after the you know after updating your windows 10 using media creation tool still you are facing the problem then you can go to nvidia website and then again download your nvidia graphic card driver from here and that should go ahead and fix the problem the last step is to perform reset which will go ahead and actually reinstall the operating system on your computer now before performing reset just make sure that you back up all your data because during the reset you might lose all the data and application on your computer so to reset your computer go to the start menu click on the settings then go to update and security and then click on recovery and here you will see the option which says reset this PC so click on get started and here you have two options one is keep my files the other is remove everything so when you select keep my files it will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files but if you select remove, remove everything you will lose all the data on the computer along with the application and settings so it's uh, you know to be on safer side just go ahead and back up all your data on the computer so that you you know you don't lose anything so just select keep my files or remove everything and then proceed with the on screen instruction and then reset your computer and that should go ahead and fix your problem after the reset still you're facing the problem then go to the nvidia website and download the driver from here so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel